Hi guys, Greg Lynch, Stern PA here. So we have a mixoid cyst. So you can see this from the side. This is a, a gel that you'll see in here that comes out from the joint. You can see people can get them anywhere on the hand. Sometimes it's from trauma. Sometimes it's from a little arthritis that's in there. And we have her numbed up here. We're gonna do a little drainage and sometimes these come back. Oh, you only need 11 blade. Okay, guys. So a lot of times we can take a little 11 blade and you'll see we're going to get like this mucus out, which is uh, a gel that actually lines our joints. And that's what helps with moving so it doesn't grind. Now, this one has been drained before. And you see we do a little poke here and you're going to see this clear gel come out that's very viscous. So we push all this out see that very clear it looks good there so you see that big globule it's translucent and what we're gonna do with this one though we're gonna go a little deeper and we're gonna do a little shave biopsy here to take this out go down just like a little wedge cut there so we can cauterize a little deeper here and you can see that where it's coming out, we're gonna cauterize that base. Now, if this comes back from this procedure, then sometimes they have to go to an orthopedic hand surgeon that will get deeper into that joint to make sure it doesn't come back. But we're gonna do some cautery here to burn out that little area that where it comes up, and that should stop it from returning. Right there in the middle. We put a little pressure bandage on here too. This will turn into a scab here. But it's that center area right there where you could see that coming in. That's where I wanna kinda of burn that so it doesn't have a channel coming out from the joint again to fill back up. This one is filled up three times, twice maybe. Maybe it's been three times. So we're gonna make a scab there. And that should stop that from refilling. Put some Vaseline and a Band-Aid with a little pressure bandage that keeps the downward pressure on that joint. And hopefully that will not regrow. I don't see any type of um, tract in there anymore. We cauterize that closed and that should be the end of that. Okay, simple procedure, just takes like two to three minutes, but um, if there's underlying arthritis in there, sometimes that inflammation is what causes this little pooching out of that um, joint capsule, and that's what kind of sinus tracks to the top, and you see those cysts. All right, I'm gonna thank my patient for sharing, and thanks for watching.